I keep hearing never have I ever and then maybe it's truth or dare but never have I ever never have I ever done this and I know that that's like a drinking game or a game where you you're pulling out certain information from others under the guise of it being fun and why did I hear it always ends in tears so someone here either may want to take you drinking and play this game never have I ever or some sort of truth has come out in a situation that was supposed to be fun and it turned into something else okay, my name is Bronwyn and this is Bronwyn's Cove Tarot if you are a new face welcome in if you are a returning face welcome back in it's good to have you here now I'm going to be ringing a bell I'm going to be doing it super quiet though because it's really early in the morning so I want my baby bells one baby bell right here so i'm going to be ringing this it's just annoying sound rather than it actually being really loud um but if you do have sound sensitivities please turn down your listening device in three two and one never have i ever so who is this let's get some more information on this because i do you know what i keep seeing someone like with their glass to their mouth like this and they're smiling and it's that energy of looking from side to side watching everybody else as like chaos ensues it, and i feel like this is the person that created it someone has a specific intent look and i opened it on stabbed in the back and it says heartbreak pain separation deception and shocking attack and there's somebody here just sitting in a nightclub sitting in a bar sitting in a, a house party whatever it may be with their drink looking really smug and trying to hide it mm, so let's drop that one down can i get some clarity on never have i ever girl talk opens and it opens straight on girl talk um time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment and having fun so i'm can i just say that my voice is going to be a, a couple of octaves lower because i have to have the window open for the incense but everyone around me is asleep so if you can't hear me just turn you have to turn up your um listening device or place headphones on but girl talk coming out this is someone is this around you it's around someone that was supposed to be a friend who was it addiction someone's addicted to doing this with healthy choices in reverse someone's addicted to kind of the chaos that they can create by i had small little nudges someone is very good at manipulating others in a way that they can withdraw and be like it had nothing to do with me what are you talking about it was a game knowing full well what they're doing knowing full well that the information that comes out is going to hurt a lot of people but it puts them ahead codependent obsession possession controlling has a black restraint is coming out i'm not sure if you can see that and then just this one yeah and sabotage someone's purposely sabotaging and it says making healthy choices so this is a lack of making healthy choices in love and life self-love self-care and being happier and then you have underneath Hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. Someone who's doing this because they think they're going to ascend. They think that they're going to get more. It's going to, they feel like it's going to benefit them in some way. Do I need to take another one out? No. Okay. Not this one. Okay, do it. Control. Someone is definitely controlling this narrative with lots of illusions, lots and lots of illusions. And let's find out who this person is. Who's this controlling person? Who's this person sitting there grinning while they drink their glass of water or wine or whatever it may be? They do have like this Regina George energy. Queen of Cups. It's a Queen of Cups with illusions. This is somebody who gains, they, they, they muster the 
the glamour or the mask on the illusion of being healed, of being very mothering, you know, of being this nurturer when really they absolutely love and revel in the chaos of pitting people against each other. And you have here the Seven of Cups. So this is all about illusions, the things that we don't see, the things that we want to see so that we ignore everything else. Then you have the Three of Swords here in reverse. So this is about healing. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So someone here feels very stabbed in the back by a Queen of Cups. Somebody that they thought was either healed or a nurturer or a safe space. And they turned out not to be. You want to go for those ones? Girl talk, tell me about girl talk. What was it that was said? What came out in this never have I ever? The thing is with Queen of Cups, this gives like um either an older feminine energy or it gives like a, a matriarch or just somebody who should know better. Please know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Let me move this. Oh, it's so smoky. Oh, I'm removing this. So maybe the smoke is being removed the veil is being removed something has been pulled away from someone's third eye and um the thing is whoever it is that it's being pulled from their third eye they're not looking at this person at the moment they're looking at who the king of swords for the three of cups they're looking at some sort of legal legal issue that's coming towards them that they really don't want to invest in because this girl talk they're talking to somebody who's already stabbed them in the back about this. this. They're talking to somebody who's already been spreading rumours or already has been leaking information. It's almost like going, you know, um, please don't tell anyone else. You're the only person that I'm confiding in. And then the minute that that person has left, the minute you've left, they're on the phone to Stacey. They're on the phone to Gabrielle. They're on the phone to... Um, Letitia and they're telling everybody did you hear about so and so yeah I heard it but they're not going to tell the other people that they heard it from you they're going to say they heard it from someone else and they won't be direct in the way that they say it either they will just be like hmm they'll find a way to place your information into some sort of conversation without taking responsibility for doing so so what is this never have I ever about let me put this here. We have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Swords. Yes. This could be a marriage. But I don't feel like it is. I feel like this is more to do with um, some sort of new beginning. I'm going to swap here. Be careful because I don't know if this is somebody's like in a circle, family. If this is somebody that you're connected to in some way, that this person is not to be trusted in any way, shape or form. They're just, they're not to be trusted. There's information that you're being told to keep to yourself. If there's a win on the horizon, which I think there is for someone here, look, the sun is in reverse. You're being told to keep it very, very quiet. Keep it to yourself. Do not tell anyone here. And it's not about like, do not tell anyone at all, but it's knowing who has your best interest and who doesn't because we have the devil card coming out to the sun there seems to be this energy of um because i really want to put the sun card down next to the addiction card and then the devil and can i get one more please tell me about this addiction tell me about the addiction And we have here the Knight of Swords to strength. This was, oh, some sort of, some sort of like family secret has been leaked. And I don't know if this is your family or if this is somebody else's. And you've got the star. This could be about a celebrity or somebody who's well known. And whoever this Queen of Cups is has purposely, they're pretending that they've gone through something here. They're pretending that they're, they're going through something or they've gone through something. And there's something about you lean on me, I'll lean on you. You tell me what I need to know and I'll tell you information. 
because the strength card to the the knight of swords the strength card in reverse this is a weakening of something this is a lack of creativity <clears throat> this could be to do with children as well because it's the fifth house the knight of swords in reverse this is not being able to talk about addictions not being able to talk about rehab i heard why tell me about healthy choices in reverse King of Cups, yeah, someone drinking. Someone has a drinking issue. And I'm not judging anyone for that. We are always human. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. You have the towel coming out. You know, it's okay not to be okay as long as we are getting the support that we need to help us on the journey to becoming okay. Um, we have here the tower. I want to show you that properly. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on in this card. And I feel like there's a lot going on for this King of Cups here. So we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. This is somebody who is, um, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups are obviously a relationship. There is information. Ah, so this person is spilling information, legal information about this King of Cups. This King of Cups was expecting some sort of some sort of result that they didn't get and they and this person may have gone like fallen off the wagon maybe they had been you know clean or sober for a while and you have temperance here so the six of cups yeah this person has fallen into like their old ways this never have i ever can also be the fact that they're not supposed to be playing this game they're not supposed to be playing this game and they are as in, you're not so supposed to be drinking. <clears throat> you're not supposed to be drinking in any way, shape or form. And this person is drinking and they're drinking and they're drinking. And not only does it come to light, hey, I hope I'm effed. That's when there seems to be this energy of, well, let's carry on playing the game then, says the Queen of Cups. Let's carry on playing the game. I dare you. That's where the truth and dare came in. Nine of Swords here to the Hermit. Some uncomfortable truths. Some uncomfortable truths coming out. Sabotage. Change decks. Okay. I'm going to go back to that little mini one. Tell me about the Hammer. How does this... You've got the Devil, devil coming out again. So we've got the Devil coming out twice. What the hecking heck is going on here? This is a lot of heavy energy. Why is there so much devil energy coming out? What was the truth that they found out exactly? Oof. And it came out quick. Two of Swords. That a decision was made about a Queen of Wands. This is to do with you. Oh, to the Two of Cups, to the Lovers in Reverse. So you have like an ex-lover here or you have somebody from the past that may have romanticized you romanticized a relationship that you had or wanted to have a relationship with you this could be an ex-husband wife he she they take it as it resonates but we started with the queen of wands here this is how the king of cups opened up and said more or less i have feelings for the collective Ooh, we child. This came out very messy. And I feel like the Queen of Cups already knew, but the Queen of Cups wanted everyone else to know. And they wanted everyone else to know in a very messy way that would paint the King of Cups as just being an entire and utter mess. There's a plan here. There's something going on with some sort of legal ongoings and the Queen of Cups benefits from the King of Cups looking like an Egypt, looking like a mess, looking like they, you know, they can't keep themselves together. Um, <clears throat> and it's coming from this Queen of Wands here. This Queen of Cups is trying to sabotage any type of connection that this King of Cups may be trying to forge with you or forge with someone in the collective and that's irrespective of whether or not you are inviting that in this is just what's happening you have the two of swords in reverse this is about um having no doubt having absolutely no doubt whatsoever your mind has been made up 
okay because here this person is looking so confused and having to really question what's going on this way the cat's out of the bag and why did i say that the cat's out of the bag and then you have the two of cups here oh wow that i dare you to and the queen of cups really knows how to press this person's buttons really knows how to press this person's buttons so what started off as like an innocent drinking game had been planned with intent to embarrass and humiliate this king of cups i heard because of you you have the ten of pentacles in reverse and this was in front of i don't know some sort of business deal some sort of something was going on here and i want to get some more advice on this top or bottom neither where would you like me to go instead yeah mm, interesting okay this is the messy deck <laughs> things are about to get even messier than they were there i don't know exactly how this queen of cups knew that the king of cups was kind of there's something here about them being together but not being together how did and it says technology and that tells me straight away that the queen of cups has either been tracking something on the king of cups's tech get out of planning mode and into action mode maybe they've read, read an email a message something about wanting to come towards you wanting to communicate with you in some way and this queen of cups is livid absolutely livid let's open it up yeah mean girls is upside down and tech as well someone here with the law something went wrong with um some sort of financial matter something it's not a court case as much as it is as like legal papers or having to go through red tape to get something ready it's like wanting to set up a business and wanting to um make it limited you know actually ensure the whole thing and it takes time it, you know you can apply for it bring all the paperwork that you need but you have to wait for whoever it is on the other side to say either yay or nay and this person got a nay they got a no on something there was something when it comes to changing job field or industry there was they're trying to not set you up they're trying to set something up to either bring towards you in a certain way deep sadness washes over me when our love is disconnected so this person may be drinking and thinking of you and you've got silence reflection and truth so this may be someone one from your past somebody that you let go of because of either their drinking it could be other addictions or addictive personality traits that they have um it could just be because they were very unhealed with the healthy choices in reverse now you also have gratitude in reverse this is somebody who sits very much in victim mentality and i don't actually say that in judgment just that's an observation this person does not co-create by taking part which means they are just that their perception is things are happening to me rather than things are happening for me while happening to me and i do not co-create this is just i you know things bouncing into me and me having absolutely no sovereign control or power over how i'm you know walk forward in my own story they are not they don't show gratitude and because of that it doesn't bring in abundance okay that's that's not great now mean girls in reverse <clears throat> there's something that they wanted to do legally for a person that they see as being um very genuine because the mean girls card talks about being obsessed by social media wanting designer brands only you know ignoring boundaries sugar daddy entitled blah 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 in reverse this is you know wanting to they want to gift something or they want to do something here that includes signing a contract or something that's somewhere where you need to sit down with like an attorney or something and they, they there's deep sadness that washes over them because you have disconnected yourself you just someone here has disconnected the sun from them we have the sun card here very very yellow very very bright let me see if i can pick it up very yellow very very bright very 
all encompassing you know i mean look how big that sunflower is and it's been put out and this person feels like they're sitting in darkness especially with the devil right next to it and this person's wife husband um other half whether they're together or not they're definitely connected they're definitely connected and there's their relationship is very contentious very 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 contentious i don't know if this person left for the queen of cups and then realized that the queen of cups was a liar or if this is somebody from a very long time ago it says look blocked trying to reach out they want to talk to you and they're untrustworthy single and ready to mingle so this is the king of cups this is somebody realizing that even though they have been like well i don't want to be with you anymore never have i ever felt that never have i ever left the person that was the love of my life and married someone else only to find out that there are why am i hearing like a conniving b word or something like that and now i am leaving this person so that i can go back to the love of my life there's something really messy in what they said and it's who was at the table it's who was at the table more than anything else because yeah it can be as messy as you want in a relationship it's your relationship but there was there's something about a lack of appropriateness in where they were when it was done because when you look at this queen of cups this person was stringing them along and i'm hearing that song by the fugees strumming my pain with his fingers yes he was strumming Singing my life with his words. Sing, is it? Killing me softly with his words. Killing me softly with his words. Because if you look at the difference between the two of them, right? That's a hot, that's a husk of a person. This person over here has got like a little ukulele or whatever that may be. And they're balancing their cup very beautifully on top of their head. So this person who has orchestrated this whole thing is very good at playing the part. They're very, very good at pressing the buttons on other people and then sitting back and going, I have no idea. This person could be a singer. They could be a musician. Or could they just could be very good at playing at other people. Playing other people. Now, who was sitting at that table? Because change in job field and industry with eight figures, they may have been trying to, um, they may have been sitting with people that were either in the music industry. It doesn't have to be just music industry because this per this King of Cups is wearing a blue suit, okay? The heart is on the outside, but it's wearing blue. So this is very much to do with the third house, Gemini, the throat chakra all to do with communication, networking, seeing things from more than one perspective. But if this person is drunk or drinking and just acting inappropriately or allowing their emotions to kind of spill over at uh, um, a table where, you know, a deal is going down that could be life changing for this person and then wanting to offer that to you, that's gone out of the window because you've got don't invest coming out here and you've got the devil underneath as well wow we look devil's come out three flipping times now this is crazy so changing job eight figures or more let me pop these down don't invest is coming out and you also have devil black it says blinded and i went to say blinded soulless addictions habits toxicity behavior and stagnant energy and right underneath that you have money wounds is coming out they feel like and debt so there seems to be um a massive whatever this blowout was and it doesn't have to be that they were sat around a table in a restaurant it could have even been like in this house party or in this there's, there's something about going casual, like a casual official meeting of some sort. But the King of Cups took it too far. The King of Cups just got way wasted. And what have we got here? Uruz. Oh my goodness, yeah. And this King of Cups just, they shared, they overshared. They over flipping shared because you have the weekend lost in fire. 
that song is very spicy it talks about you know wanting to do it with the lights on um wanting to you know how good sex is together wanting to you know have a child with the other person this oof oh we this you have someone from your past who is who more or less has poured out everything about the relationship that they had with you and even if they did not have that type of relationship with you they have literally spoken to this queen of cups about it in front of other people saying do you know what i bet the sex would be better with this person in the collective than it would be with you it was very very messy very messy and you have Uros, Uros, um which is a runic um it's a runic rune a nordic rune a runic rune um in the merc stage so in reverse weakness obsession misdirected force domination or manipulation by others and that's what's coming through sickness inconsistency ignorance lust greed brutality unpredictable power violence and ill health so this queen of cups has kind of got what they wanted which was to kind of it wasn't kind of it was to show up this king of cups as being unstable tell me more about this devil energy critic is coming through and then you have oh a few have come out here we have um a critic jealousy is it constructive toxic energy and picking fault in all and then focused intention on target group Groups, chanting, trapped elemental beings, heat coals, and fire. So you do have this Queen of Cups person that is like targeting or sending energy towards the collective and towards this ex ex lover person. Okay, this critic, this Dwight Shroot, that is not the correct pronunciation. This is somebody who may comment on the way that you pronounce things or the way that you say things the way that you spell things um why am i getting aquarius for someone this person could be an aquarius or they're just in the circle they could be in your circle of friends or they used to be in your circle of friends anything else i'm going to keep this reading short manas is coming out with payout makeup artist also came out okay this is somebody who is with makeup artist that card for me has always denoted someone who is not showing their true intent or is wearing a mask of some sort because as much as makeup enhances what we have it isn't a true um what's the word representation of what we look like you know i do not look like this without makeup on you know it's 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 a mask that we wear to a certain degree so this makeup artist with the law is this person is there someone here why am i getting that like the queen of cups is connected to a policeman or a military man or a military person i know i keep saying man and remember if i use pronouns i'm picking up on energy not people and it's up to you whether or not you assign a gender you don't have to okay um and my readings are for, and I've said it's for anything, in the entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up in the areas of law, finance, mental health or physical health, know that I am not a professional. I don't claim to be. Um, but there's there's some sort of payout. Well, this manas, this is about, for me, this is about keeping the peace. Keeping the peace or staying in a vibration that is peaceful for you. And I think this is the reason why this person is drinking so much because they're not able to get to you. I think this, in their mind, this was their last kind of ditched attempt to reach out to you and go, hey, look, we could work together doing this. I know that this would work out. You know, I've, I've gone through all the legal things. I've looked into all of the, all of the red tape and how we could work together you know your talent my know-how um being able to create whatever it is that this person thinks would make them money and also move them away from this queen of cups this whoever this king of cups is they're a king of cups okay with them being a queen and king of cups they may share a child or children because the king of cups is a is a father or a paternal um, like figure and the queen of cups is a very maternal one 
um, is giving me like they have a connection here, but they have a connection that they don't want to keep, but they're stuck with that connection. That's why you have the devil card coming out quite a lot. The devil card has come out three flipping times. I have never had that happen, ever. And I mean, one of the devil cards isn't even tarot. I mean, look at the size of this deck and that came out. And there is a very, very, very um, big red flag that is being wave, waved in front of you, okay? Because the change in job field and industry, I feel like that's coming towards someone anyway. That's irrespective of whatever's, you know, the chaos that's going on over here, all right? That's happening anyway for someone. And the thing is as well, if, if this is like confusing, concerning, you're happy in the job that you're in, you don't want to change job fields, this is not this part is not for you and that's fine that's okay don't claim that part um but for those of you that have a yearning for more I'm not saying that you're not happy at where you are you're just yearning for a little bit more you're open to change this is what's coming in for you however this king of cups was trying to figure out a way of how they could attach themselves to whatever this eight figures or more is for you Okay, this don't invest is don't invest with this King of Cups, not don't invest in changing job field or industry if that's what you really are, you know, manifesting in and desiring to go towards because you have payout monies owed, wealth, making bank and money for life coming through. And then you've got expect delays and it's upside down. This is coming in for you. This is why this person's drinking themselves into a stupor. It's because they've missed out. They've, they've missed out. Okay, so this says, you've never been to heaven, have you? Ooh, this ride of your life. Hold on, because baby, I might just give you a bite of this sweetest pie. Ooh, baby, we can go fast. I'll drive and you just lay back. I got the flavour that lasts. Um, yeah, the sweetest pie. I might take you home with this. I might give you all of it. Come get your dose of the sweetest pie and the Megan Lee Stall Stallion and do, do your leaper. The sweetest pie has just fallen out. So this, this masculine energy here fell for the trick of this Queen of Cups, which was to do with physicality. This is why the, um, the collective is being seen as the Queen of Wands in the King of Cups' eyes, simply because the Queen of Wands is someone who's very creative. They're very um, forthcoming. They, they can make things grow. This is, a, this is fire energy. This is movement. But also the queen of, cup, of, of the queen of wands is very sexy. And I want to say the queen of cups. So this king of cups wishes to either have a child with you or wishes for you to have a... They either want to get you pregnant or want you to get them pregnant. There's very much this energy here of, well, if I'm going to be tied to someone that I don't like over here because we have a child or children, then maybe I can do the same thing with this Queen of Wands and that person will get to like me or that person. And if I'm connected to that person, then I'm connected to their money and a way out. And I had taking their children with them. What else do we need to know? Thank you. I've been told to wrap it up. Surveillance, living out of their car, Driving by your home, obsession and private investigator. So this King of Cups has become completely obsessed. Because we've had obsess or obsession come out three times now. This person is completely obsessed with watching you, with seeing how far you're getting to gain this offer. Whatever this promotion or door opening to new opportunities that will bring in this change in job field or industry they're obsessed with watching to see if you are single to see whether or not you have changed jobs have you started um there's something about whatever it is that you do creatively what do you do as a hobby that's creative that you really enjoy kind of like escaping into when you have time to like i love painting i love illustrating i love singing and dancing you know um there's something here about your creative endeavours that this person is watching very, very carefully because they know from previous experience of either being around you when you were creating or, you know, um, just seeing what it is that you make, that there is, I heard there's money in it. They see it as there being money in it. 
this person is living out of their car. Oh, so this person got kicked out of the Queen of Cups' home. So they're living out of their car. And this private investigator, right, they can't afford a private investigator. They're, they're becoming one. They feel like in their head they're, they're a private investigator, but that's just being a stalker, right? Upsurging products sold. ka -ching. So they see you as living the good life. Just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. It doesn't mean my heart stops skipping when you look at me like that. And there's no need to worry when you see just where we're at. Just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. Gabrielle Alpin, please don't say you love me. So this person, um, they're, the thing is, they're not in any position to come towards anyone when it comes to a relationship because they don't even want you. They wouldn't even want you to say I love you. Take a breath, patience is needed. Very, very impatient. They're very impatient. Big changes upside down. They're very impatient. I feel like whatever it is that's going through courts, there's something else going on here. What else is going on here? Okay. I've been told to wrap it up and to be quick. So what else is going on here? What is going on when it comes to the law, when it comes to either a police officer um a military person or just legal ongoings that they're not happy with what's happening here eight of cups to the ace of swords there's something something's been um yeah with the hierophant in reverse to the six of swords something has been announced eight of cups here something's been announced when it comes and it's caused great sadness and this queen of cups it's like revenge this queen of cups may have learned that they're not getting what they thought they were in a divorce or they're not getting something to do with finances they're not going to get what they thought they would and that's where their their great sadness they're upset so this was their revenge Ace of Swords, a message came through with the Hierophant in reverse. Results that they didn't think they were going to get when it's Six of Swords, Four of Wands, Ten of Wands, that something isn't sticking to you either. This Queen of Cups tried to make something stick to you. Six of Swords coming out. You're moving on to Calm Pastures, Four of Wands, Stability, maybe even some sort of relationship. Ten of Wands in reverse. And then the Four striving for like a new beginning the empress you're growing you're growing you're growing right just to to round this up can i get a couple more cards before i go please so i can close this up page of pentacles is upside down the empress this person cannot come to terms with the fact that you have grown and that you have auspicious growth around you. The Page of Pentacles is about reviewing where we are. It's a bit like the Seven of Pentacles with a little bit of the Ace of Pentacles in there, right? They can't come to terms with the fact that you're getting some sort of payout. You're getting money back. This Queen of Cups was taking money or doing something with money and they feel stabbed in the back by this King of Cups. This King of Cups is like jumping ship and wanting to go over to you. So as much as this person is sitting there with their cup, smiling at the fact that this King of Cups is now not getting an opportunity and petty, 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 they're also in a sinking ship. They're forgetting that while this King of Cups is trying to bail out the water and making an absolute mess of it, the Queen of Cups is quite happily sitting in that boat and letting it sink and going, so what? At least you're going to drown with me. That is so dramatic, right? The chariot in reverse, page of cups. Yeah, not healing, being childish. I feel like I'm going to leave it here. I hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you're already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe, and on the notification bell so you can see more of my content and when I post. Please know that my readings are closed. Um, to those of you that are returning subscribers, I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Hearts, it almost looks like a peach instead. Hearts kisses i love you guys yeah but my readings are closed and even when they're open please do not get fooled or scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me i will never reach out to you to um solicit or try to get a reading from
get money from you or to get you to come over to me for a reading the only way to get a reading a personal reading from me is to email me on the with the information down below um no but i'm not taking readings at the moment my i may open up my readings again next week because i've had such large demand um but for now i'm just working through those who have already paid um i love you guys have a great day i'll see you later bye